let's learn how to solve differential equation and the first topic for us of course first order differential equation and the first method that we learn about the solution of differential equation is called exact differential equation what's exact differential equation and how can we understand an equation is exact or not and after finding after proving it's exact how we solve let's start to learn this is one of most important first order differential equation for us we will use mostly and exact differential equation we say that this is first order that's why just d we have not d squared d cube dy dx here the coefficient of dx the function that in front of dx is called m don't learn sir this is the first part is m and the second one is n no the coefficient of dx we say m the coefficient of dy is called m if the derivative of m with respect to y this part equals the derivative of n with respect to x look in front of dy x in front of dx y they, they are opposite if these two derivative equals to each other we say that the equation is exact differential equation okay we prove that this is exact the condition satisfied on the way of getting exact solution exact differential equation how we solve we have two condition we have two parts the derivative of a function we are searching a function is called s this is our solution the solution with respect to x derivative with respect to x gives us m and the solution derivative of solution with respect to y gives us n our aim is to find this s how we can find to find this s we have to remove derivative how we remove derivative in mathematics our aim is to remove derivative how we can remove derivative in mathematics you see here how we can the integral is opposite of derivative they are opposite of each other that's why to remove derivative we will take integral after finding integral derivative of integral removed each other and we will find s from first one and the second one will help us to find some extra things of course we will learn this is the first techniques that we learn of course we have easiest method as well the alternative method for exact differential equation and i will teach to you the extra method as well here okay we will take derivative as i said and there but the, we will take integral to remove derivative but the derivative with respect to x to remove that derivative the integral must be with respect to x and we will take for both of sides after doing these things derivative will be removed and we will find s and let's start and let's learn how we solve exact differential equation and the format must be m dx and dy this is important and if the format is not in the form of mdx and dy even if it is not in form we must put that equation in that form and then we will start to solve and let's start and this is the differential equation and what we say in front of dx this is called m and in front of dy it is n what's the condition m y equal n x m y that is the derivative of m with respect to y 2xy here there is y and the derivative of y equal 1 2x times 1 2x and this is constant derivative 0 and n with respect to x x square equal to x are there any x here this is common mistake that you are doing 2y serve 2 no we are taking with respect to x and you will ask yourself are there any term of x there there is no term of x here that's why the derivative equal to zero because no x we are taking derivative with respect to x so they are equal to each other that's why our equation is we know that this is exact how we solve the first part that we have first part that we have d s x over d x equal m what is m m is given in the question 2xy plus 5 what i said 2 
find s because our aim is to find s to find s we have to remove derivative how we remove derivative by taking integral and the integral derivative with respect to x integral with respect to x so after taking this integral with respect to x integral and derivative removed each other on the left side we have just s and on the right side we are taking with respect to x so the integral 2x to x square over 2 we simplify by 2 just x square and don't touch y x square y because we are taking with respect to x and the integral of 5 with respect to x constant times variable 5x and here important what is the we will put plus c here because we know that this is indefinite integral we must put some extra things at the end of solution normally in mth uh, in calculus one we learn we put plus c but in calculus two you learn extra things here we are taking with respect to x what is the constant part for us constant part not c constant part for us depends on other variable with respect to x what is other variable y that is the theorem of y is constant for us to represent theorem of y we will put f of y let's think oppositely if we will take derivative with respect take integral with respect to y if it took with respect to y the other term that is x would be constant for us here instead of f y we will put f x this is important so we found s but still there is extra things that we don't know which is called f of y by using second condition by using second condition let's find f y so what second condition for second condition we will not take integral first here the first things integral but here the first things we will take derivative derivative of s we found s here we found s take derivative with respect to y here let's take derivative with respect to y here the derivative of y 1 x square times 1 x square derivative of this part with respect to y are there any y here no and the derivative exactly zero for that part and we don't know what is f y so the derivative of y f prime y we don't know what is f y the derivative of y 1 here 0 and equal derivative of s with respect to y equal n where is n given in the question x square plus 2y you see x square removed the derivative of f of y equal 2y so our aim is to find f of y to find s exactly so th this is derivative here but our aim is to find f y that is we have to remove derivative how we remove derivative yes we learn how we remove derivative by taking integral again let's take integral okay we are taking integral but derivative in this part with respect to y to remove that derivative if the derivative with respect to y integral must be with respect to y so derivative of integral removed each other so f y equal f y equal what is integral of 2y 2y square over 2 simplify by 2 just y square now we must put constant here we are taking integral with respect to y there is y are there any extra term for us no there is no extra term here yes x and the extra was y but here with respect to y and there is no another extra variable for us so no extra variable that's why the constant will be just c we found f y let's put here so the solution s x y equal x square y plus 5 x what is f of y plus y square plus c we found f of y and we put if you can you can show the solution by using this technique or close that c clean that c write all expression x square y plus 5x plus y square close that part and equal c this is 
another notation for solution of differential equation don't think sir why i put that c to other side why it is not minus c? no i didn't send that c to other side this is the another showing for us for the solution of differential equation which is called closed solution okay so you can show the solution by using close that c write the all expression and equalize to z this is the another uh, expression for us for the solution this is the first techniques that we use first techniques that we use this is this part's second condition so what is the another as i said there is alternative techniques and you can use that technique as well what's the easiest techniques for the solution of differential equation look we have these two parts directly take integral of these two parts 2xy plus 5dx and x to car plus 2y dy okay we will take these two integral okay directly integral of first with respect to x integral of second with respect to y directly integral and integral let's take with respect to x with respect to x here 2x 2x square over 2 simplify by 2 here x square y plus 5 there is 5 times x because 5 is constant no need to put plus f of x f of y plus it no the techniques is say it's not necessary to put normally of course this is not exact differential exact integral for us but no need to put because the technique says that it's not necessary to put we will learn how we write the solution so for second part let's take integral with respect to y are there any y here no it means constant what's the constant of integral itself times variable that's why x square y and what's the integral of 2y 2y square over 2 simplify by 2 plus y square this is important okay x square this is constant with respect to y there is no y that's why itself times variable so let's learn how we write solution how we write solution you will write always you will write the first part let's write the first part this is x square y plus 5x and stop as you write second part you will stop and for each expression you will ask yourself sir did we use this expression before or not let's ask for second part we will ask this question ourselves always now i am asking second part first expression did we use x square y before here let's check yes we use x square y here we use x square y and cancel it if you use before you will cancel and here the second expression x square uh, second expression y square and ask did we use y square before no we didn't use y square so you must put y square plus y square and we put that part are there any extra things no it finish equal c that's it this is second technique for us alternative techniques the easiest technique for us and that's it this is so important and let's learn second alternative method on this question as well let's check if it is exact or not we know that this is m and this is n i will teach second one again the, what is the condition my equal mx my the derivative of y square 2y times 2x 4xy 3x square are there any y here no there is no y that's why the derivative equal zero and nx let's take derivative of 2x square with respect to x 4x times y and 4y cube are there any x here because we are taking with respect to x there is no x here that's why the derivative equal zero okay you should know how you behave as you take derivative of multiple variable function so for y cube there is no x zero for x y for x y they are equal so this is exact so let's use the second technique second technique says that take derivative for both of them take integral sorry take integral 2x y square 3x square dx 
And the second integral for us, 2x square y plus 4y cubed dy. Let's take this integral. With respect to x, 2x, we know that the integral of 2x to x square over 2, that is x square, y square, and the integral of 3x square, 3x three cube over 3, simplify by 3, just x cube. And the second with respect to y, with respect to y, y square over 2, simplify by 2, this is x square, y square. Here, y for 4y four to the power of 4 over 4, simplify by 4, y to the power of 4. Let's write the first part. Exactly right first part. x square, y square plus x cube and stop. Now stop. Let's write the second part. But as we write the second part, we must ask ourselves if we use that expression before or not. Second part, first expression and ask yourself, what is first expression? x square, y square. Did we use x square, y square before? Yes, we use and we cannot use again and cancel that part. And the second, y to the power of 4. Did we use y to the power of 4 before? No, we didn't use y to the power of 4 and add y to the power of 4 here. And are there any extra things? It finished and we finished the solution and all things that we have on the left side this and equalize to C. You see, always you obtain in an easy way by using second technique as well. Uh, the first technique is important for, for us. This comes from the definition of differential equation for exact differential equation. And we learn how we solve exact differential equation. In the next video, I will solve some problem about exact differential equation, which we have as more difficult ones.